Welcome back to Disc Guy Hour of Darkness. I am Fireweaver, and last episode we issued a challenge to the whole of the Neverworld to see who can strip the title of Overlord from Lahal. And uh, with that in mind, everyone is ready to go. We've did a little bit of a defense upgrade for Etna. And we can decide to go back to the Blair Forest and find out who else, who else lies in wait to ambush us. Let's go to the ritual site. Last time we had like, oh, like 50 enemies attacking us or something. I have been waiting for thee. Thou art Lord Lahal, art not thou? Ooh, she seems a lot more serious than that last bunch. She does not appear to be an ordinary swordswoman. How exciting. My name is Sardia the Demon Slayer. My sword hath slayeth over 2,000 demons. Incredible. Or was it under 2,000? Which is it? When I swingeth my sword, the earth shall be torn asunder. Amazing! The earth splits open? Perhaps. Make up your mind, damn it! <laughs> what dost thou thinketh? How should I know? Trying to make a fool out of me? I'll make you moan in pain. Prince, did you mean to say screaming pain? We have been challenged by a great swordsman, one on one, a level 24 against our whole squad. So it's not really one on one. So let's get Lahal out to begin with and get some damage down, I think. So we'll start with a straight wind cutter attack here. Um. Let's also get Voldex out and do a uh, rapid fire. Who else can I bring out? Let's get some beefier people ready to go. Uh, we'll protect Voldex's flank a little bit here. Defend, defend, and can one other person come over and protect that side? Maybe Etna. Uh, not quite, but we'll bring Etna out. We'll put her over here for now. Uh, could do with a healer. This one I'm going to take full on um, to do our main healing. And we can use Thompson perhaps for more range attacks. So I have Thompson waiting back here. I don't think he can hit, even with his... Uh, sorry, Dark Flash, it won't hit. So, what we could do is shield. Um, I'm going to predict that he's going to go for Voldex. So, let's end the turn. He's got a lot of hit points. Okay. And considering he's level 24, he completely outlevels us. Oh, wing cutter straight back. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh. Yowza. Well, there goes a couple of people that would have been useful to have around. We've got to spread people out a little bit then, I guess. Um, I imagine she's probably got the same abilities as me. Which makes bringing everyone up close really dangerous, because she could probably use Blazing Knuckle. I used Tiger Charge here just to move her back a bit. I want to get Flon close enough to do a heal as well, so I'm going to do that. He's going to be pushed out of that square, remember, so that's okay. 
Alright, let's start moving everyone out, but spread out. So, Raphael over here, Trigon over here, Etna can come over here. Should be nice to spread out. Let's execute that and then I'll move our last guy in. Okay, hopefully that keeps the Hall alive. And we'll move up here. Oh no, that'd be bad. Let's just move closer then. Uh, somewhere like here. And we'll defend just in case. We'll defend here. I think our mages are fine. Now I'm allowed one more. Let's bring out Axel. And defend over here. Okay, let's end the turn. Hope we don't lose two more people. It's another wing cutter attack. And against our healer again. Yeah, I keep being a little careless. Although it's not hard, it's not easy to hide our healer. Alright. We'll just have to hit her with pretty much as much as we can. So, again, I'm going to move... Actually, let's hold back on that. And we'll move Lahal here. And uh, we'll do our own Hurricane Slash here. Then... We'll move her again with a Triple Strike. And I'm going to execute those and then move everyone else. This is proving to be harder than I thought it would be, this level. Because he's just chewing through our guys. I haven't brought any healing items with me, I don't think. Oh god, it's not even half health. At least our mages are ca catching up. Um, if I do that, that will prevent her doing Blazing Knuckle, which I suspect that she has. In fact, I could probably push a. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Asteroid drop. Oh, interesting. Should we see what that does? Let's come back out. I doubt it'll do that much damage to AOE, but I'm tempted to find out. Um, well, considering I don't know what that ability does, let's execute it. I think it's mostly designed for AoE, yeah, so it doesn't do it an awful lot. And we can use this to do another Tiger Charge and push her back again. And then we'll bring our mages in. But we'll have to execute the attack one more time because he's about to be pushed again. Oh. Oh, I can't do that because of this. <laughs> Idiot. Well, I messed that attack up. Okay, that's fine. Uh, very resistant to fire, but weak against wind, so... That's something at least. Let's move Raphael a little closer. Okay. And we'll... Have I used this Moriak yet? I guess I have, but to plug... I want to plug this gap, so I'm going to move him there. And... We'll end our turn. Well, she might go for the weaker targets, which are mages, but I think that's fine. Oh, wow. Raphael does a lot of damage, though. Okay, still carrying on with the AoE attacks. I think I need to keep plugging away here.
We'll move over here. This won't move, so I'm going to do all the things that doesn't move at first. Uh, special Colossal Fisher. I guess we can find out whether or not she has that Blazing Knuckle attack. Let's just do that. And then... Ah. Well, she has to do a normal attack then. Okay. Then we'll end our turn. I really hope we can do this. Mostly because I forgot to save. So it's really important that we do this, otherwise I lose a lot of progress. I lose like two episodes worth of progress, so like, we need to win. Be gone. Looks like the damage is starting to rack up. Oh, zero on the counter counter. Okay. Don't blazing knuckle us. Oh, okay, good. It's just one person. I can manage that. One hurricane slash later. Okay. Special mega wind. I think I can kill her this turn. I hope. Uh that's annoying now because we're losing a lot of our SP here because we've had to do an awful lot of big moves uh, oh yeah she's already run out of SP and unfortunately I can't close that gap on her uh, but that's fine I hope let's end the turn I really hope that's now enough to kill her off is Trigon going to get the kill here? no more X, close. Lahal. Lahal should level up off of this actually, and that will be good because he's not our highest level anymore. Yay. Okay, good. Well, at least we managed to get that. Oh, and some XP for those that survived. Okay one person that we had to fight and was slamming into everyone but that's fine we came out victorious barely oh a devil ring look at that stats are immense who do I give that to let's we've got Maderas I forgot about Maderas It's often, even though I, uh, for the episode, because I've got people who have joined us uh, doing it, it's often worth using the actual characters that they give you as proper characters because they get their own special abilities that normal people don't. Um, but, you know, for the sake of the Let's Play, I'm trying to do it without relying too much on the uh, main characters and try and balancing it out. Um, okay. Maybe give, give it to Axel, who I just kind of gave leftovers to so let's replace this fancy lid with this devil ring which then makes Axel way more capable and then potentially if I've got a space I might give that fancy lid to someone else if there's a space going through anywhere not sure there will be okay Let's just give it to Madeira, so you can have two, two of those. They will stack, so that will be fine. And we can heal again, see if we get any other new items. Again, I doubt, but it's worth checking. And we've probably used up most of our gold. Yep, yeah, we have. Um, so I'm going to hit save at this point. And thank everyone for joining me for yet another episode of Disgaea. I hope everyone who's watching on stream, I hope you have a really good Christmas. And by my calculations, this episode will be out on Boxing Day. So I hope everyone enjoyed their Christmas yesterday. And 
Hope you have a fantastic new year. I don't know when we'll be back for more Disgaea, but uh, we'll try and get some episodes done so there's not too big a break over Christmas. As I say, there might be one, but we'll see. Um, for those that watch us for Minecraft, uh, Minecraft um, I guess that will be later on uh, after Christmas with everything that's changed, but that's that's good too. Um, if I hope you've enjoyed the episode. As per usual, please leave a comment if you've enjoyed it or if you've got any tips or any other comments to make, then uh, always leave them below. And I'm F Being Fireweaver, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.